special BOU High School um, lecture on section 3.6 for Algebra 51. So today we're finding the linear equation given two points are a point and the slope. Okay, so remember our linear equations are this thing, y equals mx plus b, which might look like y equals 2 times x plus 3. Okay. And then we'd graph it out, and it would look something like this, okay? So we're going to find linear equations if they just give us two points on a line, like this point and that point, or if they give us just one point and the slope, like let's say m equals 2, and here's the point. Okay, so here's the real-life example, because I know you love real-life problem examples. Um, I'm going to read it for you. Each, um, each year my students go to the marine camp on Catalina Island. We always go kayaking when we're there. When the students have paddled for two minutes, they have traveled 0 0.5 miles down the coast. When they have traveled for four minutes, they have traveled 0 0.8 miles down the coast. We want to find the average rate at which the students are traveling in miles per minute, also known as the slope of the line created by plotting two points. Okay, so they gave you two points at two minutes, he's 0 0.5, at four minutes, he's 0 0.8. So, if we plot that out, it's going to look like this. I'm going to make this like really exaggerated. So this is one mile, and this is one minute and two minutes. One, two, one, or sorry, two, so yeah, two minutes three, and four, okay? So at two minutes, he's 0 0.5, and at four minutes, he's 0 0.8. So pretty close to that one line, okay? And they want us to know what the rate of change is or what the slope of this line would be going through those two points, okay? Slope of that line, sorry. Oh. Now we can use just our equation of slope equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, okay? So we go 0 0.8 minus 0 0.5 as shown here over 4 minus 2. So the slope is 0 0.3 divided by 2 or 0 0.15 miles per minute because remember the top unit is showing how far miles we've gone and the bottom is showing how many minutes have passed. So it's 0 0.15 miles per minute. That's the average speed or the slope of the line. Okay, so notice what we've done is we had two points and we found the slope of the line. But to find the equation of the line, we don't know where it crosses this y-intercept. So we're going to try and find that. Okay, we're going to try and find the equation for the line in y equals mx plus b. Now that we know the slope and we have some points, okay? So here is how we're going to do it with example one. Um, we are going to use one of the points in the slope, okay? So using y equals mx plus b, we know the slope, or m, is 0 0.15. So I would start with y equals 0 0.15 times x plus b. Now we need to know b to find out our equation, okay? So we're going to plug in a value for x and y that we know. And we know that when he was four minutes down, um, four minutes of kayaking, they went 0.8 miles. So we can plug in that point we have, which was 4 and 0 0.8. Okay, 4 goes in there for x and 0 0.8 goes in here for y, all right? And then we just do the math. 0.8 equals 0.15 times 4 is 0.6 plus b. To get rid of the 0.6, we have to minus 0 0.6 from each side, minus 0 0.6. Then we're left with 0 0.2 equals b. So these cancel each other out. Knowing that b is 0 0.2, and we write the equation y equals 0.15x plus 0 0.2.
this is the equation. Um, for the line with the graph passing through the point to 0 0.5 and for 0 0.8. Okay. All right, so that was our first method, was using the y equals mx plus b formula, finding out the slope from two points, as you've done in past lessons, then plugging one of the points, which is 4, 0 0.8, into our equation to find out b. There's a second method that uses this formula, okay? Takes the difference between the y's of two points, so like the difference between the y's, and it sets it equal to the slope times the difference of x2 and x1, okay? So um, here are two points, 2 and 0 0.5 and 4 and 0 0.8. And using this formula, they just plug in um, different numbers. So here they um, are going to use a slope that we know. Okay, I wanted to clarify on this that we are using just one of the points in the slope to find out the equation. Um, if we plugged in both of these, they would be equal to each other. But we're going to use just one of the points to find out the equation for this um, for the line that goes through these two points. So we're going to use the point for 0 0.8 and the slope of 0 0.15 for m. Okay, and notice that y2 is the one we're solving for and x2. So we're going to end up with y equals mx plus b. And on this one, it's just going to look like this, like y2 equals mx2 plus b. All that's saying is just like that for this number of x, whatever we plug in for x, we get y. So it's the same thing, just with that 2 on it. Not a big deal. Um, so if I plug in my numbers for y1 and x1, which I'm going to call, so y1 is 0 0.8, I plug it in right there, and x1 is 4, I'm going to plug it in right there, and then I'm going to plug in my slope, which is 0.15, and then I'm going to leave y2 and x2 alone. Um, we're going to do the distributive property, where this outside number has to be times by the first number and the second number in um, the equation. So um, remember that it's 0.15 times x2 and 0.15 times negative 4. So you got to make sure to keep track of that negative. Okay? So we have 0.15 x2 and 0.15 times negative 4 is negative 0.6. We still have this side of the equation the same. Now we're going to solve for y because we want this equation to be like y equals mx plus b. So all we have to do is add 0.8 to each side, 0 0.8 to get rid of that, and then add 0 0.8 to this side. Okay. So now we have this, y equals 0.15x minus 0 0.6 plus 0.8. So y2 equals 0 0.15x. What's minus 0 0.6 plus 0.8? They're opposite signs, so you take the difference and keep the one that's biggest. So the difference between these is 0.2, and the addition is bigger, so we're adding it. That's my equation. And notice it's the same up here, just a different way to do it. Okay, here they're doing the same thing again. They're just giving you two points on a line, okay, four, negative six, which is going to be somewhere down here, and negative 2, positive 8, okay, somewhere up here. So we want to find the slope of a line that goes through that. We not only want to find the slope, but we want to find the formula for y equals mx plus b, okay? Um, so this is just an example. It's not really going to look like that, okay? So we're going to use method 1, where we find the slope using the formula m for slope equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Then we plug and chug with a number into our equation. Okay, so we're going to use this formula. So y2 is 8 
plug in right there, minus y1, which is negative 6. So minus negative 6 over negative 2 minus 4, which you can see on the bottom here. Remember that when there's two negatives in a row, like this, so outside of parentheses, they become positive, and it's 8 plus 6, which is 14, over negative 2 minus 4. Both negatives go in the same direction and get more negative, so negative 6. 14 over negative 6, divide the top and bottom by 2. 14 divided by 2 is negative 7, 6, negative 6, sorry, 14 divided by 2 is 7, negative 6 divided by 2 is 3, and you can keep the negative on the top or the bottom, it doesn't matter, but it's negative 7 thirds. So that is our m or our slope. Now if we want to find the equation, we plug in our m, remember it's, our slope is negative 7 thirds, so I'm going to plug it in here, and then I'm going to plug in one of the points. So they chose negative 2, 8. So I plug in negative 2 for x and 8 for y. 8 equals negative 7 thirds minus 2 plus b. So we just use this formula, and we're trying to solve for b now, since we know m, and we know an x and a y. All right, so negative times negative is going to be a positive, and 7 thirds times 2 is 14 over 3. 8 stays the same, and we have b on the side. Now to get b alone, we have to minus 14 thirds from each side. Minus 14 thirds. Okay, this cancels out. 8 minus 14 thirds is 10 thirds, because 8 is the same thing as 8 over 1. I have to times the top and bottom by 3 to get to 24 thirds. So we have 24 thirds minus 14 thirds equals 10 thirds. Okay, so that's B. Now we know our equation. We know B, we know M. So Y equals negative 7 thirds times X plus B, which is 10 thirds. Here, they're going to show you how to do um, find the equation for a line using method 2. So remember, method 2 looks like this. We use this formula. y2 minus y1 equals the slope times x2 minus x1. They give you a slope of 1 half, and one of the points on the line is 3 comma 1 half. Okay, so now I'm going to use this as y one and x1 and I'm just going to plug and chuck and then solve to make the equation look like y equals mx plus b so if I plug in one half for the slope okay which they did right there right plugged in one half for the slope and then they plugged in three for x1 right there one half for y one. And then kept y2 and x2 there, because that's what we're trying to solve for, to make our equation look like y equals mx plus b. Now, do the distributive property. Remember, one half is both one half times x2 and one half times negative 3. Keep that negative sign with you. So now we have y2 minus one half on this side. We haven't changed anything on this side. Okay. And now we've done the distributive property on this side, so it's 1 half x2 minus 1 half times negative 3 is negative 3 over 2. Now we need to just get the numbers on the same side so we can get y alone. So we have to add 1 half. So minus 1 half plus 1 half, 0. Add 1 half. Negative 3 halves plus 1 half. They're opposite signs, so you take the difference and keep the sign that's the biggest. The difference between 3 and 1 is 2, and negative is bigger. So it's minus 2 over 2, which is the same thing as negative 1. Okay, so that plugs in all the way down here. And that's our equation. y equals 1 half x2 y equals 1 half x2 minus 1. And then there's the math lab, so make sure to do those. And good luck.